Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back to blistering hot Rome. Hope you're all doing well and that you're all having a fantastic day. It's just sun. The, the whole city is, is just sun. There's no trees, there's no cover, there's nothing. But luckily, we just found the Colosseum. We were told it would take a couple of hours to walk here. We got here pretty fast. We're very happy for that. And I see so many people with umbrellas. I've made jokes about that for years, getting an umbrella. And I am this close to doing it. There's no coverage anywhere. It's really insane. This might be one of the most touristy populated cities I've ever seen in my entire life. There's a line for the water. Do you see? People are filling up their water bottles. This is the only shade from this one tree and this entire area is packed. This looks like the metro. I believe we have to cross here. No cars, luckily. It looks like they're doing an enormous amount of uh, construction around here. I think building a new metro line or something like that. This lady has the right idea. She's completely covered. We're up there somewhere. Thank you, gigantic monolith, for the shade that you provide. Here we are at the Coliseum. For those of you who missed the news before, it's like 94 Fahrenheit, uh, I think 36, 37, 38 uh, Celsius. It is freaking hot. Looks like the main entrance is over there. huge my back swing on around this way Roman use letters as number you remember I was hoping that someone had said no she was like the Romans use numbers as letters somebody's like what a what There's an ambulance right in front of us, not sure if you can see that. I assume that is nearly exclusively because of the heat. Jeez Louise. It is quite impressive and also very weird to think of what took place here, <laughs> like what actually went down. A lot of historical places like that, you kind of walk by them, don't really pay too much attention and go, oh, okay, it's cool, it's old. But also this building, it has tons of like holes and stuff on it. Like where'd those holes come from? 
that's not a, a joke either. I'm, I'm actually asking. It's, it's, it's riddled with gigantic holes. When, when did, when did that, when did that happen? When, when was, I, I don't assume there was much or an enormous amount of action. Forgive me if I'm incorrect. During a WW2 of people, you know, activities happening around here. Where, where are these gigantic holes from? That is a that is a completely honest question. Because they're huge. Like they're not. I, I I I don't know if you can make out exactly how big they are. They are the size of a human head. All of them. Was it like a meteor shower here at some point that we just don't know about? Seems like most of it ends around here. We can kind of go up the main street. Wish my ears would stop sweating. That'd be fun. I need those umbrellas to be about three times bigger because those guys walking around with them is like just covering their forehead. Very cool. Some people on the second floor inside of it. Alright everybody, I hope you're all cool wherever you are. Thank you all once again for watching. And I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you. <laughs>